Hello, everybody. My name is Eric Worre, and welcome to our special webinar with Tony Robbins on the power of network marketing. I'm really excited to bring this to you. This took over five years in order to be able to get this interview to happen. Uh, Tony's only done it twice in his 38-year career. One was with Jay Abraham, and the second one was with us here at Network Marketing Pro. So I'm really, really proud to be able to bring this to you. Uh, Tony is going to be speaking at our GoPro Recruiting Mastery event October 14th through the 17th here in Las Vegas. Our sold out event, 8,000 people are going to be coming from all over the world to this event. And in this webinar, you're going to hear an extended interview from him on the power of network marketing. But let me tell you what else you can expect over the course of this webinar. The second person you're going to hear from is Robert Kiyosaki, Rich Dad, Poor Dad author. 33 million books sold around the world. He's going to be sharing some ideas and his thoughts about the network marketing profession. Guess what? He's also going to be one of the speakers at GoPro Recruiting Mastery. A third person you're going to hear on this webinar is Bob Proctor. Bob, you might know most from the movie The Secret, but he also is the author of You Were Born Rich. He's going to be speaking about his presentation, what he's going to be doing at GoPro Recruiting Mastery, but also some ideas on how you can have a breakthrough and how you can change the paradigms in your mind. So and make sure you watch this all the way through because at the end, I've got something very special for all of you. So let's get started. To get kick things off, let's take you to our special interview with the one and only Tony Robbins. Tony Robbins. Good to see you. How are you? I'm doing awesome. How about you? I'm doing good. I, I know you are in the midst of a crazy schedule and took a little time out from your business mastery event you're doing here in Las Vegas. Yes. Uh, congratulations on what you do with that. I have so many friends that have raved about that program for years. I'm really pleased with it. Yeah. Um, but thank you for taking the time. I know you've, you've got a lot of stuff going on. And, and um, our audience here inside of the network marketing space. Yes. They're passionate about becoming professionals inside yes. of the space, taking their skills to another level. They're, they, they believe, as I believe, that for the average person, it's just a great option for someone to take charge of their life and become an entrepreneur without a lot of the risks that are typically associated yeah. with becoming an entrepreneur. Yeah. Uh, you've been around a long time. Uh, you've, you've seen a lot of different things. What are your thoughts about network marketing in general? Uh, and the dis you know, what is your thoughts about the decision that people can make to become entrepreneurs using it? Well, it's interesting. You know, I'm doing this program right now, and I got a room, you know, of a couple thousand people from 44 countries. They're all business owners. Some of them are businesses that are approaching a billion dollars. Some of them are haven't even started yet, right? They're just picking their business. So it's really variety. And one of my goals in that event is to actually get people to not go in business. And the reason it sounds horrible is someone spends ten thousand dollars come to an event. And I told them up front. Some of you are not made for this because to run a business requires a certain natural capacity, a nature, if you would, besides skills that you learn. And it's the ability to handle risk. It's the ability to handle stress. It's the ability to do a lot of different things. And you have to be able to manage finance. So you, most people, they have some of those skills. And that's why every year, 50% of businesses that start are out of business. You know, you look at over any, you know, five-year period of time, 80% are out of business. And over a 10-year period of time, only 4% make it. Now, make it, Eric, doesn't mean that they're making any money, right? That just means they're still standing. 96% fail. And after 10 years, you're set, right? <laughs> no. You know, look at Lehman Brothers, right? Around for a century. You know, they did combined a trillion dollars in revenue over that century, and they're gone. So the world, you know, technology changes, products and services changes, it's so competitive. So to really be successful, it's a really unique situation. What's beautiful about network marketing is you get all the benefits of being an owner, but you don't have to be worrying about supply chain. You have to be worried about accounting, especially in the world we're in today. I mean, network marketing used to be a little bit more different, but today with technology, you can know what's happening in real time. The companies have already set up the software. They know what happens. So it's really picking the right company. And there's a lot of great companies in that area. And it's really realizing that 
you're really a value creator. If you can go out and add value to other people's lives, if you can just introduce people to a product or a service that a company represent that truly is extraordinary, some products and services can't just be thrown up on Amazon. They need the story to be told. And if you found a product or service of that nature and you got a company that has a generous schedule of being able to reward you and then you begin to get leverage where it's not just you, where you've multiplied your efforts to other people, then you get the, all the benefits of being a business owner without all the headaches and without the same level of risk. And so I think, um, I think network marketing is amazing. Now, network marketing has a mixed reputation, and we all know that, right, in the marketplace. And, you know, anybody goes out, well, what are you doing? That's why you got to own yourself as a professional. I think that's why I'm supportive of what you do, because you're not just pumping people up. You're giving people real skill sets to be a pro. If you're a dabbler in anything, you're not going to succeed. So I don't think you should have the delusion that network marketing is the way to get rich if you're just going to try it. This is something you got to commit to and say, this is my profession. I'm going to be better than anybody else in this area. I'm going to get the skills and the ability, and I'm going to, I'm going to hone my talents, and I'm going to build my teams, and I'm going to constantly get better. But I don't have to take the risks of starting a business traditionally, and I don't have to be good at all those things that make it so hard for the vast majority of humans never to be able to succeed. And, and again, in this business, you don't have to wait to start making money. You don't have to hope that you can cover all that overhead. That overhead is being covered by the company. So... I'm a big fan of network marketing, always have been, and I think the real thing is making sure you pick the right company and that you continue to grow your skill sets. The constant, never-ending improvement, what you've talked about for forever. That's correct. Right? This, the, this concept that you're always going to be getting better at your skills, you're always going to be getting better at your mindset, you're always going to be getting better at how you communicate with your groups, how you're building teams. Yeah. But the challenge is people get into something, anything, and in the beginning it's exciting. Of course it's exciting. You join this new company, you have this new opportunity, you get a new relationship. You know, even a new job is exciting in the beginning. But then there's the law of familiarity. If you get around anything enough, you start to take it just a little bit for granted. And you just can't do that with your own business. And that's really what network marketing is, is your own business. you got to say, this is never-ending improvement for me. And I'm, I'm hooked. I'm hooked on this idea that I can get better and better. My income is not limited by my time because I can now produce results to other people as well. And I don't have to spend my time doing things I really don't want to do, like accounting and shipping and all those other elements. So um, I think if anybody's listening to this and they're on the edge, if you're on the edge, don't do it. Yeah, for <laughs> you know, sure. It's like step up. If you can't step up, it's the wrong thing for you. But network marketing makes it the easiest that I know of to step up if you become a pro. Now, you're talking about, uh, in Business Mastery, the, yes. this event you're doing right now, you're talking about giving people the best practices of everything that's happening in the world. That's correct. Uh, and, and, and from you and also a collection of experts um, sharing ideas. Just to entrepreneurs in general, uh, and you're an entrepreneur, wildly successful entrepreneur, and uh, you work with and are friends with many, many of the top entrepreneurs in the world. What are a few of the common attributes of the super successful entrepreneurs that you've seen? That might not be the obvious ones that yeah. you know come to mind. Well, gosh, uh, you know, uh, I give you one example because I was just talking to him yesterday. Mark Benioff is a dear friend of mine, and he runs a company called Salesforce.com. He founded it. Mark went to my Unleash the Power Within event about 15 years ago. He went to it three times. You know, it's, you know, it's repetitions, the mother skill. He immersed himself in it. Again, a pro, not going to do something average. Comes up to me and introduces himself and says, Tony, he said, I'm, you've changed my life. I'm working for Oracle. I'm leaving. I'm starting this company, Salesforce.com. We're going to change the business world. I never guess. We're going to do $100 million in business. And I was teasing me the night. He's going to do $7 billion this year, right? And I've been on that 15-year journey with him. You know, what, what do they have in common? They have a sense of something they want to serve greater than themselves. You know, the only challenge sometimes in network marketing, and I think what gives it a bad reputation for some people, is you get people in there that really act like they're doing it for something larger than themselves, but it really is only them. Now, there's nothing wrong with you wanting to profit and be successful, but motive does matter. And the most successful entrepreneurs have a motive that includes themselves, but they want to do something that's going to change the world, make the world different. It's like, you know, when you're trying to meet your own needs, you get a certain level of insight. If you're trying to meet the needs of a fam your family, you, you get a different level of insight because life supports whatever supports more of life, more people. If you're trying to support your community, you different insight. If you're trying to you know, have an impact on the world, it's even larger. And I found in network marketing, you find a few missionaries that are like those other entrepreneurs that it really is their mission. They'd honestly do it for free. And you know they want to make money, and they do make money. But if you're only doing it for the money, the unfortunate part is 
um, people sense that and then they feel like it's just a transaction as opposed to an experience of added value. So only one way on earth to really become wealthy and that is do more for others than anybody else is doing. And if you can find a way to do that through your vehicle, like network marketing, there's no limit. But people sense what's really driving you. And you can't fake it because people's bullshit meters today are so big because everything's bullshit. Reality television is bullshit. You know, it's, that's, it's even fake. So if you can just be raw and real and connect your mission, that is not to say that you're not going to benefit. Hell, you know, I'm, I'm fortunate enough now. I got 21 companies. I got 12 I actively manage. We're, gonna, we're approaching $6 billion in revenues this year. And I'm a guy that started out, you know, in a 400 square foot bachelor apartment in Venice with no business background. But what has been my driving force is every industry, every company I've been to, it's like, I'm on a mission to create massive improvement and change. And I don't just say that shit. If you want to know who I am, you don't have to watch how my lips move, watch how my feet have moved for, you know, three and a half decades, you know. And actually, 38 years now. I started when I was three, I think. You know, something right. like that. But, but that's it. Find your mission. Find a motive greater than yourself. And ironically, you will be doing incredibly well yourself as well. Yeah, I found that the same thing's absolutely true. I, I want to transition to a project talking about giving, talking about yes. uh, helping other people. Yes. Um, you, I've been waiting for a lot of years for a new book from you. Yes, it's I, and I think a lot of your audience is like, come on, uh, uh, you know, when are you going to put out a new book? And you finally came out with a book, Money, Master the Game, Seven Simple Steps to Financial Freedom, and it is a tour de force. Man, did you do some work. Thank you. Um, uh, the interviews that you pulled off and the access that you gained. Um, to, to our audience, uh, what I've been trying to pound on, because if there's an, an attribute of even the successful people in network marketing, yes. it's financial, uh, being financially oblivious. Yes. Uh, and just spend all the dollars yeah. faster than you get it. Yeah. File an extension on your taxes. Yeah. Don't even, do, you know, do quarterly estimates, they don't even pay attention to that stuff. Yeah, I know. Um, so one of the, the theme that I really love, one of the themes that I really loved, and I've started to, to, to uh, promote within our community around the world, and there's 100 million people now in network marketing around the world. Wow, I didn't know that number. That's yeah, amazing. 100 million. Wow. Uh, $182 billion a year in sales. Yeah, I knew it was in, in, total. in the 200 yeah. billion range. So 100 million uh, people are involved, and the, the theme that I like is you, you teach people to have two businesses. Yes. One is the business of how you're making your money. Yes. And the second is the business of your investments giving you an income stream. So for people in network marketing, one is to create, you know, maybe transition from a job to a network marketing career. Yeah. And then once you're there, try to get your investment income to surpass your network marketing income. Right. So, so first of all, what drove you to, to create this book um, and, and, what could a person inside of network marketing benefit from? I've already benefited tremendously, yeah. right? Because uh, I, I came out of that world, yeah. right? You know, it's just you're you're pedaling as fast as you can, yeah. and sometimes you're just focused on growing the group, and yeah. you forget about the dollars. Yeah. And sometimes it's programming, mental old stuff. For sure. For me, it had to do with self worth. It had to do with if anytime I got money, I had to spend it as quick as possible. Yeah. I had to buy everybody dinner. I had to you know, make bad investments so I'd be back to that familiar crisis mode again. Yeah. So that was my issue with money. Yeah. So it wasn't even strategy for me. Yeah, it, it was some programming stuff for me. So the people inside of our space, how could they benefit from having a better financial IQ? Yeah. And, and what can this book do in order to be able to help them improve that? A lot of questions. Yeah, I know, I first, know. The, the first one is, uh, I didn't write a book for almost two decades, like 18 years, primarily because I just hate writing. <laughs> I love the live event. I love the spontaneity of in the moment, come up with a solution and show people. And then I've had a few day jobs because, you know, about every last year I was on a plane or on stage every four days. So, and I was doing it in 16 countries, to give you an idea. Uh, and, you know, I love seven, 10,000 people and the energy, the impact. Sitting a solitary writing book and able to do. So why did I write a book even then? I don't need to write a book. Simon Schuster's had an offer for me forever and wanted me to do it. Was because in 2008, when I saw mass number of families losing their homes, mass number of families losing half their retirement, 
it wasn't like statistical to me because I grew up with no money. I grew up in an environment we had no money for food. Um, in fact, I donated all the profits of this book in advance. I've been feeding four million people a year for gosh, the last 10 years. I've been feeding people since I was 17 because when I was 11, my family got fed and I said, I'm going to give back. So 17, I fed two families and then four and then eight. And then my small company got involved and eventually I got to a million and then two million. And then for the last six years, I've matched the two million that my foundation does personally feeding two million. But I thought, I fed 42 million people in my life. I want to feed that many people in a year. So I said, I'm going to feed 50 million people. And I called and said, if I took all the money from this book, you know, feeding America, you know, how many people can I feed? And they said 10 million people. I was like, geez, you know. So I finally just wrote a check higher than that. So I want people to know, I wrote this book to give it away, to give away the content. Um, but I wrote the book because I wanted people to have real answers. And I have a unique gift that most people aren't aware of. And that is, I've been coaching one of the top 10 financial traders in the history of the world, his name is Paul Tudor Jones, for 22 years, my 22nd year with him. And he's not lost money in 22 years. Now, there's no one on earth that you know of that could say that, who's a top financial person at that level. And I mean, daily, I've coach him, he sends me the note of what's going on, nowhere to go. So I've got a level of insight. So I thought after 2008, when I saw this happening, I said, you know, I'm not everybody, I don't have the whole solution, but I got access. So what if I interviewed 50 of the smartest people on earth who started with nothing like us and then built billions, you know, top hedge fund guys, as well as, you know, the academia guys, the guys that are the smartest, you know, in the room intellectually who have studied what works. And let me put it in one book. And if I could put it into a system, like a seven step system, and that's what I did. And so it took four years and I'm thrilled with it. And the impact's been amazing. And the endorsements I've got have been, you know, yeah, you know, huge. guys like T Boone Pickens or Carl Icahn, you know, people of that nature. And it's because they all read it. This is, this is the real thing. So the answer to your question is, I was just in my seminar, we've been four days into it, and almost everybody there knows, has a plan now to grow their business 30 to 130%, some 200%, with no bullshit. Like I'm talking about a conservative plan where they walked in thinking, how would I grow 10 or 15 and, you know, in the marketplace? And, but after all that, I still want them to know, and that's why my conversation with them today is, you gotta have your core business, and you gotta have a second business with no employees that takes you 15 minutes maybe a month or a quarter. You can actually make it 15 minutes a year. And I want that second business to be the one that makes you financially free. So if anything ever happens to your core business, you're still set. And I can really show you how to deliver that because that's what these people have done. And all I'm talking about is stop, make the most important financial decision of your life and stop being a consumer and start being an owner. Mm. And the way you become an owner, it's simplistic as it is, and we all know it, but I get people to do it, is you take a percentage of what you earn, like we all know, and you decide this is not going to Kate Spade, this is not going to Louis Vuitton, this is not going to some beautiful restaurant, this money stays in my family, and you automate it, and you put it into an account, and then you figure out where to put it, but that money has to disappear. You have to know it's not, you have to not see it. If that happens, you got the first step to success. The second step is once you have that, you've got to understand the rules of the game because so many people get taken advantage of who may be the few that actually put the money aside. And you know, the people in multi-level marketing, like you said, they're running their team, they're running the family. How am I supposed to be an ex financial expert? You don't have to be an expert, but you have to know the rules of the game because this is a place, if you don't know the rules, you will get hurt. Yep. And my goal with this book was to take people from being the chess piece to being the chess player. And I knew I could do that with a mom who's just getting started or a millennial that's got a bunch of college debt and still do it or a totally sophisticated person who thinks they're sophisticated and I show them what Carl Icahn's doing and they go, holy shit, yeah. this is amazing. It blew, my, it blew me away. I so, mean, so, the, but, but, I want, but, but the thing I want to get people to know is if you set this system up right, and I have inside here, for example, I asked Ray Dalio, many of your audience probably don't know who Ray is. Ray Dalio, if you're really rich, you give your money to a hedge fund usually to invest your money. And a big hedge fund might be $15 billion. Ray Dalio is 165 billion. He is 10 times bigger than any than the richest hedge funds on earth. He manages money for China, to give an idea, right? Wow. So I go to Ray, turns out he's been a fan of mine for 20 years, really helped. I sit down with him for four hours. He gives me these incredible answers. And at the end, I said to him this, and it relates to your audience. I said, look, I deal with people that have 20 day jobs. I mean, they're trying to be a mom, a dad, you know, do something in the community, run their business, you know, be an athlete, you know, do well financially, do something for their community. And I said, they don't have time to be a professional. And you just got done telling me these professionals are going to might be nice people, but they will never, they're, they're never going to do it. 
96% of mutual funds, for example, which is where most people put their money, don't match even an index over a 10-year period of time. That means if you're here in Vegas and you go play blackjack, and you say, I'm going to find the 4% that are successful. If you play blackjack and you get two face cards and your inner idiot says, hit me, you have an 8% chance of getting an ace. You got a 4% chance of getting a mutual fund. So I said to him, I said, Ray, what you've shared is amazing. I'm going to teach this. But you got to teach me this principle of what you do in actual numbers. Like, so people could just go do it. 3% of this, 10% of that. He goes, Tony, I can't give you that. He goes, that's my secret sauce. People have to have a $5 billion net worth and give me $100 million before I'll even consider taking their money. And he said, that was 10 years ago. And I said, that's the point. You haven't taken money in 10 years. You're not going to take any more money. So give me the secret sauce. <laughs> help me help the average person, right? And I got him. He goes, well, Tony. He goes, like, it's really complex. I said, I'm good at taking complex and make it simple. He goes, well, I use leverage. I said, design one without leverage. He goes, it wouldn't be perfect. I said, your idea of not perfect is everybody else's idea of da Vinci. You know? So I said... And he goes, well, and he lays out this plan. And he goes, go back test that. He goes, you know, when people talk about past performance doesn't equal future performance, that's because it's like a five or 10 year period of time. He said, test it over the entire modern history of investing, say 75 years, and tell me what you find out. I hired the firm to test it. 85% of the time in the last 75 years, think about all the up and downs of markets in the last 75, 85% of the time it's made money. And when it lost money, it didn't lose 50% like 2000 or 51% like 2008. It lost 3.99%, just under 4% in the worst time. If you could go to Vegas and make money 85% of the time when you lost, you only lost 4%, how much would you invest, right? How much would you invest? Tom wouldn't be here. So I want people to know this book will show you exactly step to step what to do. And you want to set it up so that everything you do, your day-to-day -day business is wonderful. But if that went away you're still financially set. you can set. start even if you're small. You start, literally, you can start with nothing. Start with $1,000, $500 to make this thing happen, and, and it'll guide you straight through it. I love it. Uh, everybody, please get this book. Get your hands on it. Make sure your teams get this book. Have some concepts. Get the concepts ingrained. Put it into your training. Make it a part of your culture. Yeah, think of it as this is an area you got to master, but it's not something that takes a lot of time. Yeah. That's why I call it Money Master the Game. It's a game. You want to master that game, and there's seven steps anybody can do. Right. All right. Um, one more question for you, and I appreciate the time. Um, my, my pleasure. The, uh, we have our GoPro Recruiting Mastery event yes, coming up in October. I'm going to be there. And, <laughs> and the reason, let me tell you the reason why. I, I feel like I've developed some, I have some, you know, some, some mentors like you've had and, and some people who've helped to simplify some complex things. And inside of the network marketing space, I feel like I've done a pretty good job of simplifying the skills necessary for a person to go pro. Yeah. Um, but, and I've done a lot of coaching, especially over the last two or three years, the biggest obstacle is not the skills. No, never. The biggest obstacle is the, the breakthrough that is required in a That's person's right. mind That's right. in order to be, go, to be able to go to another level. Now, you're a busy guy and you're not uh, cheap. To bring in but we did it and the reason why we did it is is we wanted you to come in and spend an entire evening with this group the people who are there and people watching on live stream to be able to help each of them have a breakthrough an, an emotional a, a, a spiritual a a total transformation in their mind and their business yeah what are you going to be sharing with people? What can they expect to learn? What, can they, what kind of results can they expect to, to achieve as they leave there? What, what are you going to be bringing? Well, I've been obsessed for 38 years with that one word, breakthrough. Mm. I'm not interested in change. People change all the time. They make a lateral change. They go from you know, overeating to smoking. <laughs> you know, they go from one bad relationship of one way to another one. I'm interested in a breakthrough. A breakthrough is a moment in time when everything changes, and it changes for the best. And the beautiful thing about a breakthrough, when you really start studying it, which I've done for 38 years, and I've looked at it, financial breakthroughs, business breakthroughs, emotional breakthroughs, and you really see a breakthrough, it's a moment in time that occurs. Like people will say to me so often, well, it took me 10 years to change this. And I say, bullshit. It took you a moment. It took you 10 years to get to the moment where you actually broke through. That moment where your brain said, not another day, not another hour, not another moment. This is over. I'm changing my body or I'm changing my relationship or I'm, I'm, I'm no longer going to do this. I won't tolerate this because most of us get what we tolerate. 
And we don't realize that that's, there's that point. And I'd be willing to bet every one of the people listening or watching here has had breakthrough moments where you struggle with something for a long time and promised yourself you're going to do it or change it or, you know, and then you didn't do it. You did, And then maybe finally something happened that pushed you over the edge. So I haven't been obsessed with finding what pushes people over the edge. And then more importantly, what sustains the breakthrough, right? And, and when it comes to business, that's what they have, business ownership. I can tell you beyond a shadow of a doubt that the chokehold on the growth of any person who's watching or listening, anybody in network marketing, any business owner, the chokehold always is the psychology and skills of the owner or the leader. Always. You're, you will never grow your business past your own development. And I tell people that like when I start seminars and they all want to know strategies and I have so many business strategies and I love to wow people with the strategies and save them a decade. But I don't do that. The first day of everything I do is pure psychology because I give you 10 strategies and how many people have shown you a strategy, the answer's right there and people still don't follow through. And it's simply because of that. So don't get me wrong, skills are critical too, which is why I think what you're doing is so invaluable. But I'm, I feel privileged to come in and add to that because I found it's 80-20. 80% psychology, 20% skills. Now, if you don't have the skills, you're not going to succeed. But if you don't have psychology, you have the skills and you still won't follow through. And so I'm going to take people through a process over about three hours of immersion that you're never going to get doing one little thing at a time. It's kind of like, you know, most people have taken a foreign language in high school and college and you ask them today, speak some language, they can't speak squat. It's because they did the little thing at a time. I'm an immersion guy. If you're in it, breathing it, smelling it, tasting it, that's what we're going to do for three, three and a half hours. And at the end of that, you're going to storm out of there. You'll know what was holding you back. You'll know how to shift it and you'll physically shift it and it'll be in your body and it'll be resident and you'll have a daily practice, a simple daily practice of less than 10 minutes that'll put you in the place to maximize every single day. And that's what it really takes. Hmm. So if a person's trying to decide, hey, should I, should I get a live streaming ticket? You know, should I find a way to, to get to that event? What, what kind of advice would you have for them? Don't do it. If you can't decide to do something this valuable for your life, you shouldn't be in business. <laughs> Please go back to working for someone else. You really should. You got to go work for someone else. You're not cut out for network marketing. Either that or <laughs> grab some gumption and push yourself over the edge because listen, I mean, I, I tease about it, but it's true. You know, your income will never far exceed your personal development and your business mm -hmm. development. It just can't. Yeah, You're never going to see a person influence someone of higher influence when they haven't grown in themselves. I mean, if you're growing, you can lead. You don't have to be perfect. Nobody's perfect. I'm not far from perfect. But if you're caring and if you're growing, people sense that about you because the average person is not. And that's attractive. That's going to pull people to you. You know, a lot of people are like, how do I get people? The fastest way to get people is develop yourself and people will sense it. And when you talk to people, you know, they sense that, you know, whatever you're saying is the tip of the iceberg. They know there's so much deeper and they want more. And what better to do in life than to become the kind of person that you know you're not perfect, but you're growing constantly, and because you're growing, you have more to give. Mm -hmm. And so I'm obsessed. You want to get better? <laughs> life gets better. My original teacher, Jim Rohn, used to say to me, Tony, for things to get better, you got to get better. You know, for things to change, you got to change, right? And I can tell you, if you're going to add more value, you can't just hope good ideas are going to just show up out of the blue. You got to pursue them. Great ideas are going to change your life. Don't interrupt you. You pursue them, you use them, and they change your life. And, and we're going to create an environment where people that day who are there will not forget that they're there. It'll have an impact for years to come. Uh, I will tell you that the, Jim Rohn also talked about the day that turns your life around. Yes. That, that day of disgust, that day of determination, that day yes. when you finally make the decision, yes. like you're talking about. Yeah. And I think that the people are going to attend. And the reason why we're, we're bringing in, the reason why I'm excited to work with you in this project and with this huge group of people around the world is I want them to have that breakthrough. That's cool. I want them more than anything else to go out there and just absolutely crush it on every level. Well, the reason I'm doing this talk with you, my dear friend Sam, who you yeah, know, yeah. you guys are good friends, you know, put us together and arrange this, is I know you're totally sincere, and I know there's a reason there's 7,000 people come to this, it's because you really deliver the goods for people on your own. So I feel like you're a brother on the path, and together, hopefully we can do more than we would do separately. Yeah, man. Hey, I appreciate it. Thank, Thank you, you very much. My and, pleasure. And uh, looking forward to tearing it up with you in October. I'll be here. All right. See you then. Wow, what a privilege to be able to sit down with literally one of the most important thought leaders around the world. I hope you got value from what he had to say about the network marketing profession, how we need to treat it seriously, how we need to develop our skills, how we need to really own what we do in this profession, and also how to pay attention to real financial independence. 
so many great ideas over the course of that 25, 30 minute interview. But let me ask you a question before we get, move on to Robert Kiyosaki and Bob Proctor. How would you like to hear from Tony Robbins on how to be more successful in network marketing for three to four hours of in-depth training? What would that be worth to your business? Let me tell you, if you want to get in front of Tony and listen to what he has to say live, you can't do it anywhere in the world for less than $1,000 per person. As you know, October 14th through the 17th is GoPro Recruiting Mastery, the biggest event in network marketing history. 8,000 people are already, already registered to this sold out event. And let me tell you why we put this event on. Our mission is to change the network marketing profession for the better to help you develop the skills you need to be successful, to create that million dollar mindset, have a breakthrough and a, and a total life transformation experience in network marketing, to help you create a game plan for strategies and success in our business, to provide inspiration, credibility, validation. Like I said, this is the largest and most powerful event in network marketing history. It's 100% safe, it's totally generic, we don't talk about any companies or any particular products. But here's what I want you to understand, and you're gonna find out through the course of this webinar. You can get a live streaming ticket to watch the entire event live, plus a seven day replay. You can watch all of it from the comfort of your home anywhere in the world. But before I give you details on how you can register for that, how you can get a live streaming ticket, let me share with you a few more things. And I'm gonna start with a special interview I've done with Robert Kiyosaki, author of Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Check it out. I'm here with a couple entrepreneurial legends. Kim Kiyosaki, <laughs> how are you? Great. Robert Kiyosaki, how you doing? Rich Dad, Poor Dad, Rich woman, uh, how many books have you guys sold worldwide, estimated? Well, just Rich Dad Porter alone is estimated legally produced. There's a lot of pirated <laughs> copies. 33 million. 33 million books. Seven years on a New York Times bestseller list, but who's counting? You know? Who's counting? No big deal. Talk to people about why network marketing is such a good entrepreneurial decision in the crazy landscape uh, that we deal with in today's economy? Well, as we know, there's fewer and fewer jobs. You know, American corporations say they're hiring, but they're not hiring in America, they're hiring overseas. But more than that is that the reason I endorse network marketing is most people are addicted to the paycheck. And the paycheck is one of the most sinister plots ever pulled upon a human being. If you need a paycheck, you've sold your soul. You know, you sold your body, your mind, your spirit, and your emotions. You sit there in fear of losing your job, or can I get a raise, or you know, will I get promoted? I mean, and then, and then, why would you do that? Another thing about reason we, we endorse network marketing, we don't think of it as a network marketing; we think of it as entrepreneur development. Because if you need a paycheck, this is not your business. You know, we build businesses. So sometimes when Kim and I do a deal, we, we may not receive a paycheck for five, six years. You know, and so these guys come, oh, am I gonna get rich quick? You know, and some people do, I don't know if you do or not, but that is an employee, get rich, loser mindset. And so the thing that network marketing does is really kind of cure you of that loser paycheck get rich quick mentality and actually build a business. You know, we build businesses, but and that's how we're rich, but we didn't get rich quick and I don't need a paycheck and I never want a paycheck. So that's kind of a revolutionary thought to most people up there who went to school to get good grades and get a job. You know, they get a high paying job and the, the higher paying job you, you pay higher taxes and you wonder why you never get ahead. That's because you went to school to get a job and a paycheck. You've got to get away from the paycheck, and sometimes it might take two, three years to get away from that. And that's what network marketing teaches people. It's an entrepreneur's mindset. It's an entrepreneur's spirit, not a loser employee. I need a paycheck mentality. 
I love that. I love that. The fact of uh, the paycheck being evil. It's evil. Well, just look at the tax system. Just the people that have pay have paychecks pay the highest taxes. Now, why would you do that? When if you had a little financial education, you had a business, the tax laws swing to your favor immediately. You, if you, you, have, you have a full-time job, we're not saying quit your job, keep a full-time job, you know, then start a part-time business and then call your accountant. Because the moment you start a part-time business, the tax laws shift to your favor. So all of these guys who are crying the blues, I'm paying too much in taxes because you're a loser. You're working for a paycheck. Get it? You know what I mean? <laughs> you don't want a paycheck. What you want is passive income. You know, you want income that comes from assets, not from labor. It's a very different mindset. So if you want to get rich quick, that's a bad mindset. Yeah. You know, you know another, terrible the mindset. The other thing, too, about that entrepreneurial mindset is because I see a lot of people and they're their, their comment is, I don't, have en I don't have any money. I can't do this because I don't have money. I can't invest because I don't have any money. I can't build a business because I don't have any money. Yet, by not having money, because when we started out, we, when we started I, out I was down 820,000 yeah. bucks, you know what I mean? That's a lot of money to most people. My friend Donald Trump was down a billion. Didn't stop us, we yes, just keep going. That's, and that's you the know? point. We, we didn't have money to start up business. We didn't have money to invest, but it didn't stop us, and we kept figuring it out. And because of that, <laughs> it made us smarter. It made us more creative. We had to figure out how to get the money. We had to figure out how to sell ourselves and, and sell our ideas. I mean, not having the money actually was a benefit. But so many people are afraid of not having money that they don't take that, that step. And, this, and the very skills it takes to be a great entrepreneur is required in network marketing. You've got, you start with nothing. You're asking people to work for no paycheck and you have to build a business. Your hardest task in network marketing is taking that loser and need a paycheck mentality and transforming it. If you can do that, you'll be successful. Not saying it's easy, but that is your job. And the reason Kim and I endorse network marketing is because unemployment keeps going through the roof, wages keep coming down, and we keep saying to our kids, go to school, get a paycheck. I mean, we're, we're killing our kids that way. We're killing their spirit. You need a paycheck. Every time you take a paycheck, you sell your soul, you sell your mind, you sell your emotions, you sell your body. And your time. And your time, well, same thing. But anyway, that's why we endorse it. And for America to go back to prosperity or the world to go back to prosperity, we need more entrepreneurs. We don't need any more employees, get it? <laughs> you, actually, you actually sell your freedom. Yeah. You sell your freedom. When yeah, you, that's when the you biggest part. That people that talk about paycheck. financial freedom. They don't know what it's like to not need a paycheck. The moment you don't need a paycheck, you're free. And then people say, well, what if you lose everything? Well, we didn't have anything to start. We can make it back again. It's about the skills, isn't it? Because it's like, like you say, it's, it's, it's not about having resources no. or money or investment mm -hmm. to start. It's about being resourceful. It's about right. you find a way as an entrepreneur you find a way. You don't have enough money to, to get your inventory, you find a way, you, you solve that problem. You don't have this or that, you just find a way. That, like when you're 800,000 in debt, you found a way. When Donald Trump was a billion dollars in debt, he found a way, right, you know? Right, right. It's um, the skills, it's the confidence, it's the self-assuredness, um, all of that. So it, it just really kind of cracks me up. I mean, it's not funny, but it's kind of cruel, but it's also funny, you know, you go, why would you sell your soul for a paycheck when you're going to pay tax? <laughs> Does it make sense? If you build a business, you make more money and don't pay tax, but it takes time. And once you have it, it's like riding a bicycle. Once you learn how to build a business, you're not afraid of losing the business anymore. Because if you take it away, you, you'll do it again. It's like with a bicycle, you fall down, get back up. But people have never fallen down, never rode a bicycle, never learned to walk. You're always afraid of losing that paycheck. That's you sold your soul. Yeah. So one, working together is amazing. Uh, two, with what's going on in the world, working for a paycheck is is uh, it's insane. Is is a bad game. It's a bad. It's an decision. old idea. It's an old old idea. The I you know employees are industrial age ideas. And I wrote that book, Business of the Twenty First Century. Business of the Twenty First Century is your entrepreneurs. You build business, and you work for passive income, not you know. What do you call that? Paycheck income. Paycheck income. Yeah, we got to come up with some nasty name for that. <laughs> no, it's called it's called ordinary income. Ordinary. There are income. three kinds of income: ordinary, portfolio, and passive. And employees work for ordinary. When you save money, that's ordinary income. When you invest in a four hundred one k, it's ordinary income. 
You're the biggest losers. I mean, they teach you to be the biggest losers. Go to school, get a job, work hard for ordinary income, save money, ordinary income, and invest in a 401k. Ordinary income. You gotta be nuts. And, and, when, and when you're building a your network marketing business, you are working for passive income. Because you're, and, and once I got that idea of getting, changing my mindset from focusing on ordinary income on my the paycheck and income coming in from, from work to passive income, that made all the difference. And the government gives you tax incentives for passive income because you're doing what the government wants you to do, like provide jobs and we build houses and we also invest in oil wells. We need oil. But if you put your money in a savings account and a 401k, they tax you. <laughs> I think that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you do that? Why would you say to a kid, go to school, Work hard, save money, and invest in a 401k and gets taxed to death. Before, well, before we turn the cameras on, you were talking about people going back to school. Yeah. The, you, the huge rise in, uh, in, in college debt. Well, let me show on. you these charts, okay? This is a chart called Sally Mae. Sally Mae is like Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, and all this other stuff. But Sally Mae shows the cost uh, of college debt is going up. It's now over a trillion dollars. College debt is worse than credit card debt. And I'll, I won't go into why, but co but college debt is now higher than credit card debt. But worst of all, when you look at this next chart, you'll see wages of college graduates are going down. That's pretty cruel. So these kids, the parents are saying to the kid, go back to school. If the parents go back to school, they get deeper in debt and their wages go down. And this next chart is even more disturbing. What you'll see here is a chart of what's happening to the middle class. Middle class income is going this way, not this way. And then the last chart, well the second to last chart is this. This is the chart of working poor. So where are the, where's the middle class going? They're now in the working poor. And this is food stamp usage. Over the years, food stamp usage keeps going up. These people are good people, hard working. The trouble is they don't make enough money to survive. Now the good news is they're perfect candidates for network marketing. You know, stuff like this, but you look at what's going on in America, so people are on food stamps now. Or you can just go an entitlement program and pay no tax at all, and that's going up also. So we're, America's in a mess. But the biggest threat, I think, coming up is Social Security. As for guys my age, look at Social Security. It's now bankrupt. It is today bankrupt. And many people are saying, oh, I'm going to count on Social Security. I said, you may as well count on the Easter Bunny or Santa Claus. You know what I mean? You've got to wake up. And so this is the very last chart. This is the national debt of America. You know, it just keeps going up. So if you're going to school, getting a job, working hard, saving money, counting on 401k, Social Security, and think the government's going to take care of you, you may as well bet on Santa Claus. <laughs> well, Robert Kiyosaki, what can you say? Rich dad, poor dad. He loves network marketing. He's one of the most successful entrepreneurs and entrepreneur coaches in the world. And he's also going to be at GoPro Recruiting Mastery, sharing his insights on entrepreneurship and network marketing. What an incredible lineup. Let me also share with you a, the, a third person that I want to introduce you to in this webinar. If you saw the movie The Secret, and just about everyone in the world did, you know who Bob Proctor is. He's the author of You Were Born Rich. He's also going to be speaking at GoPro Recruiting Mastery with a two-hour session on how to have a breakthrough, a, 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 mental, a mind breakthrough, in order to be able to go from the difference between what you know you should do and what you actually do. He's going to help you bridge that gap. But instead of me talking about it, why don't I let, I let you hear from Bob Proctor himself. Check it out.
Tony Robbins, Robert Kiyosaki, and Bob Proctor. But those are only a few of the amazing speakers you're gonna hear during the historic GoPro Recruiting Mastery event. In addition to these three, in, addi in addition to myself, you're gonna hear from a collection of some of the most successful people in the network marketing profession today. Here are just a, the, a few of the people that are going to be speaking at this event. Gloria Mayfield Banks, Jordan Adler, author of Beach Money, Susan Sly, Tiffany Malott, Joe Ochio Grosso, Lisa Grossman, Jimmy Smith, Kathleen Dagelman, Mike Sims, My Bride, Marina Wari, Jim Faubert, Todd Falcone, Presley Swaggerty, Richard Brook, Brian Carruthers. On top of that, we're gonna have a, a, a panel discussion of rising stars, young people in network marketing doing incredibly well, a social media panel, and a panel of legends, people who have made huge money for over a long period of time in network marketing. Think about the value that you could get from this type of a group of people. Now, on top of all of that, I have to tell you something. Um, I've been traveling the world now for quite some time, teaching people the skills necessary to become a network marketing professional. And at this event, which you're gonna be able to get a live streaming ticket to this event, at the end of this webinar, you're gonna be able to, to register to watch this whole thing live and get a seven day replay after the event is over, October 14th through the 17th. I'm going to be providing about 10 hours of training over the course of these four days on the skills necessary to become a network marketing professional. I'm gonna teach you how to never run out of quality people to talk to. I'm gonna teach you how to invite people to take a look at your product or opportunity in a way that gets you great results and gets results fast. I'm gonna show you how to present your product or opportunity to your prospects in a way that works but also duplicates. I'm gonna teach you how to follow up, how to answer any question, overcome any objection in network marketing. I'm gonna teach you how to close, how to help those people decide to, to, to make, make the decision to become a customer, become a distributor how to do that in a way that doesn't pressure anyone, makes them feel comfortable with what it is that we have to offer. I'm gonna teach you how to get a person started right. And I'm also gonna teach you how to promote events, how to put people into your company conventions, your local trainings, even your, your neighborhood events that you have around the world. I'll teach you the skills necessary in order to be master all seven of the fundamental skills in network marketing but also help you with the million dollar mindset. Also help you create a game plan for the next 12 months and beyond. Now let me tell you what this will cost, what it's worth first, and what it's going to cost to get a live streaming ticket for this event. This I think is the, the greatest opportunity for the average person to, to get the mindset, get the belief, and get the skills necessary for success over the course of the next 12 months and beyond. Uh, think about what would it be worth to, just for the Tony Robbins evening session, three and a half, four hours of Tony Robbins, what would that be worth? What would you be willing to pay for that? How much would you willing, be willing to pay for Robert Kiyosaki to train you, or Bob Proctor, or some of the most successful network marketers in the world, or myself for 10 hours, to train you the skills necessary to be successful? Would it be worth $100 a skill? If you could master those skills, would it be worth that? Well, here's what, what the offer is today for everyone watching this webinar, okay? And please pay special attention because there's gonna be, some of it's gonna be very limited. The regular price for this live streaming ticket is $497. However, if you order in the first 24 hours, when this webinar finishes in just a few minutes, if you order in the first 24 hours, you can have all of it the live stream plus seven days of unlimited replay, watch as much as you want, for just $197. That's, what, less than $10 an hour in order to be able to access all of this. Less than $10 an hour for the best training in the world, the most historic, largest, most powerful network marketing training ever held 
in the history of our profession. I have two bonuses that I'm going to provide for people who make the decision to get a live streaming ticket to go pro recruiting mastery in the next 24 hours, 24 hours from when this webinar it finishes in just a few minutes. Bonus number one is a four part all new GoPro video coaching course. This is where I'm going to personally prepare you for your breakthrough at GoPro Recruiting Mastery. There's going to be four lessons delivered directly to your inbox, video lessons, Monday, August 24th, Monday, September 7th, Monday, September 21st, and Monday, October 5th. So you come into this event completely prepared to have a life-changing experience. Now, I charge $5,000 for personal coaching at my breakthrough coaching events, $5,000 per person. This isn't going to be personal, obviously. It's going to be delivered via video online, but it's going to be very powerful, and it's free for the people who register in the first 24 hours of this offer when this webinar completes, okay? Bonus number two is many of you have heard about GoPro All Access. This is where I put all of the previous uh, events that we've done, and you can access those previous events and interviews and programs for a monthly fee of $19.95 a month. The people who make the decision in the next 24 hours, I'm gonna give you a free 90-day membership to GoPro All Access, which is an, another $60 value. And if you're an existing member, don't worry about it, we're gonna, just gonna give you the next 90 days for free. Okay, so if you make the decision, 197, get your live streaming ticket, you're gonna get those two bonus offers. Now, the $197 price is not going to stay in place forever because this information's too valuable in order to be able to have it at that low price forever. So the 197, after the, the 24 hours, the 197's only gonna be available for five days. And after five days, the price is gonna to go to $297. After September 1st, the price is gonna to go to $397. And after October 1st, the price is gonna to go to $497, which is still an amazing, unbelievable value. Now, why do I want you and everybody in your group to get a live streaming ticket? Let me tell you why. I think together, we can change the world. I think together, we can raise the perceptions of what we do in our profession. I think together, when we have a combination of skills training that I'm gonna provide, information and inspiration from a lineup of incredible speakers that are successful in network marketing from all over the world, when we take people like Tony Robbins, Bob Proctor, Robert Kiyosaki coming into the room, not only validating what we do, but helping you experience a breakthrough, an emotional breakthrough, to be able to know what you need to do, not only know what you need to do, but actually have the skills to go do it. We're at a tipping point in the network marketing profession. We're at a point where we can literally, when our belief changes, when our skills change, when our posture gets stronger, when that happens, guess what happens? The whole world is gonna stand up and take notice. Network marketing is a better way. If you have an entrepreneurial bone in your body, it's a better way to become an entrepreneur than any other way that's available on earth for the average person, it just is. It's not perfect, but it's better. It's just better. And when we get stronger, the whole world's gonna take, take notice. So that's why I wanna create a revolution all over the world where everybody gets strong, everybody is super confident, everybody is filled up with skills and filled up with belief and filled up with a strong vision for themselves. And I believe October 14th through the 17th is gonna be the tipping point in the network marketing profession. When we go from obscure and misunderstood to popularized and understood all over the world. Together, we can do something special. So yes, there's gonna be 8,000 people in the room from all over the world, many, many different companies, many, many different countries. But I would like to see a large multiple of that watching online all over the world in living rooms filled with a group of people watching it on the screen together. From people who are watching it on their phones at work or wherever they are, 
people are watching on their tablets, people are watching on their laptops, and then the seven days after that, watching as many times as they can to internalize the information, to create a game plan. So my hope for you is that you make a decision to get a live streaming ticket quickly, now. Now understand, if you click on the link and there's some glitches, there's some lag, understand a lot of people are trying to do it at the same time. You'll see the link on this page, you'll be able to click on that, get your live streaming ticket. You're not gonna see a lot of fanfare, a lot of sales copy or anything else. It's gonna take you straight to an order page and get you registered right away. Please do it right away because I want you to be part of that special four week coaching program with me to prepare you for this event to, um, to have the breakthrough that you really deserve, okay? So who's excited? I hope you're excited with me. I'm excited to be able to bring this to you, this historic webinar, what we did here today, this spectacular, but what we're going to do between now and October 14th through the 17th is going to change the game, a total game changer. So that's our webinar. Hope you got value from it. And ladies and gentlemen, my wish for all of you is that you decide to become a network marketing professional, that you decide to go pro, because it is a stone cold fact that we have a better way. Now let's go tell the world. Click on the link, get yourself registered, have your teams do the same thing, and I'll see you soon. Take care, bye-bye.